This tutorial is designed to show students how to designate a dataset as a time series dataset in Stata. In order to do this, we must have some time series variable containing the year or the quarter or the day with which the data is associated. In this instance, we can see if we use the list command that we have yearly data on GDP and investment share from 1990 to 2007. In order to designate the, time the data as being time series data, we use the TS set command, which essentially stands for time series set command. The variable we are designating as the time series variable is the year variable in this case, as this contains information on the year with which the other data is associated. In the command window, we type TS set. We select the variable year, we use a comma, and then designate the type of time series it is. In this case, it's yearly data. We hit return, and we can see that we have the time variable set as year, the time period is 1990 to 2007, and the delta, or gap between the years, is one year. Now, we can run our regression with a lagged independent variable. The typical regression command covered in previous tutorials is regress, our dependent variable and our independent variable. If we wish to add a lag of investment share we simply use L dot to indicate one lag of investment share and run our regression. In this instance we can see our regression results are again generated we have investment share in the current time period and a lag of one time period. The coefficients and significance are given for both. We can further develop this by adding another lag, typing L2 investment share and hitting return. This shows that we now have investment share in the current period in one lag and in two lags. Note that the number of observations drops in accordance with the number of lags which are included. We can continue to add lags until we reach our desired lag length. This concludes this tutorial. Further tutorials are available on the SharePoint website.